Well, I see you've accepted my offer of a refresher course in the art of detection, hmm? Perhaps you want to reacquaint yourself with the basics. Or perhaps you wish to show off your skills. Or perhaps... Mom said we can't have dinner unless we humor you. Ah, well, in that case, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. What do we have here? A desk! Or is it? Maybe it's a robot disguised as a desk! Is there a desk under all that junk? Is that mahogany? No, wait, it's teak, isn't it? I bet it's teak. What is on the desk? A uh, pudding dish. dish. And what is significant about the pudding dish? It's smaller than the trough you usually use. It looks more like a fondue dish. It needs to go in the dishwasher? <sighs> the pudding dish is empty. A pudding. My pudding. Someone ate it, and you're going to tell me who did it. You're going to do so with the clues available to you in this office, the gallery, and the bathroom. And you're going to do it before dinner. That is to say, right now. Now hear this! Should do it. Uh huh. Not bad for an empty stomach. Keep it up. Excellent work. Who is the guilty now party? Now hear this. Your attention, please. Are you listening? Hello, my dear. What's on your mind? Oh, you want my assistance. Well, you'll need to earn it. Stop staring at me. Look at some... <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Nice job! Which suspect is the culprit? Keep it up! <clears throat> Toodaloo! Listen up! Hello, detective. Need any assistance? You need to make it worth my while. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> All right! Oh, cracking! And you may find this of some interest. Now that's detecting. Who is the guilty party? Couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Enjoy your stay. Stay the course, detective. Greetings and salutations. How goes it? I don't just hand out clues to the needy. You'll need to earn them. <laughs> this is what professional detectives call a clue. Excellent work! Which suspect is the hey, culprit? Attention! Have another look at the clues. Accusing the Commodore of a crime. Oh, this I have to see. Why do you think the guilty party has short hair, like me? Why do you think the guilty party is a man? 
What makes you think the guilty party has the roundness of a pudding aficionado? Why do you think the guilty party is tall? Well, of course I ate the pudding. It's my pudding. Who else would have eaten it? What took you so long? Oh, that was easy. Uh, what I meant to say is, uh, you made that look easy. Good job. Not everyone would recognize the significance of the golden spoon. You'll do well to keep an eye out for clues like that in future cases. Please excuse my earlier outburst. <laughs> I get cranky on an empty stomach. But you just ate. Ah, speaking of which, uh, it's dinner time. But tonight I bear dire news. I received an envelope in the mail from an old friend of the family, Mr. Valentine. The Shakespeare of crime. Indeed. What was in the envelope, Grandpa? A what? Ah, yes. Uh, a party invitation with a poem inside. And there once was a Seamus named Dickens, whose private eye kin were all chickens. Come Valentine's Day, the whole clan will pay. My plot, like a pudding, now thickens. A limerick? Sounds like an awesome party. Dorian, what are you going to do? I'm retiring as head of the Dickens Detective Agency. <gasps> Who are you and what have you done with my grandpa? Oh, I haven't changed, but Valentine clearly has. I'll let someone else foil his evil schemes from now on. Well, who's it gonna be? Eh? If you're retiring, one of us is gonna have to fill your shoes. Oh, 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 oh me, 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 pick me, me, pick me, me, Grandpa! Ah, uh, yes, the matter of succession. What are my options? I could let my daughter run the place when she's not at school with the feds, or turn into a clearly insane child. Or ask my oldest sister and her muscle-headed husband to do it. Then, of course, there's my son, the Chowhound. I'm right here. I guess that leaves me. You're far too young and inexperienced. But I... The, the... That's yet to put in talking. At any rate, you still haven't figured out how to work together as a team. Putting any one of you in charge would be a grave mistake. But who's going to run the Dickens Detective Agency? My dear wife? You are. What? what? Dorian, I really must protest. She's not even a detective. I'm not taking my marching orders from some old lady. Ow! Listen, when Valentine hears that I'm no longer head of the Dickens Detective Agency, he will assume I am no longer a threat. But in the back of his mind, he must know I am still out there watching. <laughs> Banana, my favorite. <laughs> um, there's also a note. What? Ah, yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. Who kidnapped your wife? Guess you don't have a clue! It's just as I feared. Valentine is unleashing his most villainous plot yet. He wants us to know we are powerless to stop him. You've got to do something! I'm retired! You're the detectives. You figure it out. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. <laughs> Stay sharp. I'll solve this case or I'll eat my hat. Seriously, I've done it before. I 
I'm so happy I could eat a horse. Ah, <laughs> yes. Now that's detecting. Ready to eat. No free lunch here. You'll have to sing for your supper. Sink your teeth into this. Uh-huh. Don't run on an empty stomach. Hi there, sweetie. You think you deserve information? Prove it. Show me something. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Which suspect is the culprit? Yes! Show them how we do it at the thickest manner. <laughs> Stay on your toes. I'll solve this case or I'll eat my hat. It's good to be me. <laughs> ah, yes. Keep it up. Can I help need any assistance? Oh, maybe I know something, maybe I don't. And you may find this of some interest. Hello, detective. Enjoy your stay! Who done it? Oh yeah! Yeah! Ready as I'll ever be. Listen up! Ah, Schmoot says hello. Schmoot demands entertainment. Tell you all he knows. Don't stop now. It's edible. It's like eating a burger made of pure joy. Ah, yes. Schmoot, says good. 
a burger made of pure joy. Are we just a tick? Sorry, but I must get back to battling now. Me? That's absurd. Prove it. How do you know the guilty party had short hair? How do you know the guilty party was a man? What makes you think the guilty party is thin? 
What makes you think the guilty party is tall? Alright, I did it. But what are you going to do about it? Touché. Why'd you do it, Bilge? What did Valentine have on you? In the old days, I was quite the bodybuilder. Mr. Valentine put my talents to use. Always paid me handsomely, too. Not like here, where the bonuses come in pudding. So, when he asked me to help him nab the old bird, I happily agreed. Where is she? Where is my mommy? <laughs> Hollow Point Express? That's the bullet train. Oh, I've heard about that. It's supposed to be rather speedy. It leaves tonight. Then let's get going. <laughs> they forgot their pudding. Mom's got to be somewhere on this train. Let's go have a chat with the engineer. Open up! This is an emergency! Hello! A coal-burning bullet train. That's progress. Uh-oh. Looks like he's out. Cold. Huh? Too soon? We need to find whoever did this. Who or what? I think you'll find when all is said and done that the conductor was a victim of Santa Claus. The only man on Earth known to carry a large supply of coal at all times when... Thank you. As I was saying, whoever did this must be working for Valentine. He never does his own dirty work. The train's moving too fast for them to jump off. There must still be a board! Find the person who did this, and we might just find Mr. Valentine. And Grandma. Her too. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. Here I am! Go, Ling Ling! Go, Ling Ling! Yes! Not bad! Yes! I knew it! me and I will tell you what I know. Hmm? <laughs> blah 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 blah. Oh, oh. Blah, blah 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 blah. Oh, 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 oh. Blah blah blah. Ah, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> <That's you! laughs> I will be uh, your assistant in the lab of truth. Keep seeking the facts! Check out the 
talent. I can dig it. Takes more than a polite request to get me to talk. Until you hear this. Son of Jim. to me, there's a little formality you have to do first. <laughs> We're on the same team, fighting for justice and all. will blow your little mind. Hmm. 
on the case? Which suspect is the culprit? Mercy is for the weak! <laughs> the investigation begins now! Testimonial, you better work for it. Show some respect, avert your eyes. You better turn that head around. I know you didn't just touch my nose. Show some respect, avert your eyes. Let go of my nose. Get your hand off my nose. Look like the sword who can handle the truth. Your attention, please. Yeah, walk away. Getting hungry? Hello there. There's a lot I could tell you once you heat up the stove, so to speak. something you don't know yet. Wonderful as usual. Yes! Like you should do me a favor before I talk. Ah. Uh -huh. ah. This is gonna blow your dome, Holmes. Done it! Show those boss! <laughs> Here's Ling Ling! Let's try this! There you are! How about... Huh? This is just what I wanted. There you are. Yes! I knew it!
wonderful as usual. Yes! When in doubt, review the clue. Some other time, detective. You're accusing a judge? This should be interesting. Why do you think the guilty party has long hair? How do you know the guilty party is a beautiful career woman? What makes you think the guilty party is a pleasingly plump? Why do you think the guilty party is your shorter than average? Sounds rather circumstantial to me. It would never hold up in court. Well, you heard the lady. Might as well throw away all our circumstantial evidence. <gasps> no! Give me that, it's mine! What's a judge want with a golden egg? None of your beeswax! Is this circumstantial too? Looks more like a smoking gun to me. Okay, okay! I did it. All my life I've used my hacking know-how to get what I wanted. Eggs, mostly. Anything egg-shaped. I love it. Valentine told me he'd give me a golden egg if I could hack into the train's computer and download the schematics to the engine. Everything was hunky-dory. Until the conductor found me, I couldn't get busted, so I had to improvise. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. I'm just an egghead. No jury would ever convict you. You really think so? No, that was sarcasm. Look it up. You're going down! hi -ya! Go! Well, this is the aquarium where Valentine met the judge. Let's review what we know so far. Right. Anyone got any ideas? Right. Holy cheese! You, the manatee? From the three manatee tenors? <gasps> For real? You're from the Dickens Detective Agency, aren't you? I've seen you on TV. Who sent you? Was it Hugh's manager? The insurance company? His wife? His ex-wife? What are you talking about? You! What about me? Not you, you! Him? What me? Hugh the manatee is missing! <gasps> he got in this morning, we put him in the tank, which was set up to his exact specifications. Half an hour ago, I walked past, and he's gone! You have to find him! We're kind of on a case already. That can wait. This is Hugh the manatee we're talking about. I have all his records. Hearing him sing the Banana Boat song changed my life. It's a song. Can he really sing? It's more like a whistle or a very melodic belch. Hugh is the only one of the three manatee tenors who still has a career. He may be the only singing manatee left. He's a national treasure! A treasure, huh? Something tells me Valentine is wrapped up in this somehow. We'd better find the third manatee. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. Butch Johnson, ready for action. Hey there, pal. 
Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. while I solve this thing. Talk if I was in the mood. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Ah! 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 Hey, dude, and or do that. Check this out. Wants to see it up real close. Real close. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Thanks, you like this. Bye bye, detective. As you were, he's the conference. You go. Get ready for Butch, baby! Ten, hut! You want the truth? Let's see if you can handle it!
I want to make a statement. to the law, unless I need to. something, then you'd better be ready to work. Blah. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Oh. Ho, ho. Uh, Go! Pay attention. There's going to be a quiz later. Do that. Put it here. Uh, uh, there it goes. This do that. Well, that's wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. Take care. Which suspect is the culprit? Yeah, baby! Go get him! <laughs> I'm on this! This one. 
perfect. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This dude did. Uh huh. Grab this one. Uh, uh, this dude there. Here it is. Uh, uh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. What are you certain? Bonne chance, mon ami! I think my, uh, my phone's ringing. Party is a woman like me. What makes you think that the guilty party is round? Why do you think the guilty party is tall? gotten away with it if you hadn't been so careless with your sea salt, Miss Wigwam. That was your slip-up. What could you possibly know? You're just a child. Mom, I'm on it! <laughs> I give up. I did it. Where is he? If you hurt one hair on his big squishy head, so help me. We probably should have noticed that earlier. But why, Miss Wigwam? Why would you jeopardize a lucrative teaching career to kidnap a manatee? I did it. For love. Aww. All my life I've been alone. Then I started getting letters from a secret admirer. He said he needed me to still hew the manatee from the aquarium and then we could be together. Okay, that's just weird. Now I'll never get to go on my cruise with Mr. Valentine. That's how he always signs his notes to me. Together we'll sail across the sea once you've abducted that famed manatee. Looks like you're going to jail. And we're going on a cruise. Do I know you? I'm Captain Sherman. Welcome to the SS Stupendous. And I am the infamous Ted Riddle. I warn you, Captain, do not ask me to divulge my secret identity for all... Uh, Captain, we're actually on important business here. We're tracking a missing person. And a criminal mastermind. And a missing manatee. Well, let me put your minds at ease. We have absolutely none of that on board. This ship is about fun, relaxation, and good old-fashioned nautical high drinks. Do you have a ballroom? No. A rock climbing wall? No. Pilates studio? No. 
Is there anything else you don't have? Funny you should ask. The anchor seems to have disappeared. Couldn't stop the ship if I tried. Oh, is that all? Steering wheel's gone too. How are you steering the ship? I'm not. How can you prevent it from running aground? I can't. Doesn't that bother you? Bother me? I'm on a cruise. Well, that's reassuring. We should find out where those missing items went. A ship's wheel and anchor? Who would even want that? Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. I'm ready! yet. Make me talk if you can. I can tell you things. Classified things. Is the guilty party? Yay! Good going! I'll have this salt in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Wonderful! Who's there? Uh, perhaps you could impress me, and I will tell you what I know. Hmm? <laughs> Hey baby, what's up? 
All right. Before I say anything, you gotta pass the test. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Bring it on out! <laughs> right, man. Listen to this, man. Which suspect is the culprit? Crush your opponents before you! <laughs> About time. Yes. Wonderful. Put it there. Does that work? Put it there. Does that? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There you are. Hey, dude. First things first, bro. Show me your stuff. Guilty party. Whoopee! Crush your opponents before you! <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment.
all. Hmm. something for me before I tell you anything. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Talk again soon. Hello. Information is valuable. Yes, you must work for it. something but first you do something for me yeah
Party has short hair. How do you know the guilty party is a man, a military man? What makes you think the guilty party is wide, brown, thick, and so forth? Why do you think the guilty party is tall, not puny and weak like you? I cannot believe you would accuse me while my ship's going down! And you going down with it, Captain. We know you stole those parts. Well then, Plan B! You may not know my secret identity. It's Rudyard, right? Y you may not know my secret identity, but I think I know yours. General Mission! Yeah, that's right. I'm me, and I helped Valentine heist all that stuff from this ship. I've known Valentine for a long, long time. Valentine asked for some ship parts. I arranged to get him some ship parts. I would have done it for free, just for the fun of being evil, but Valentine pays well. Real well. And how did Valentine pay you? Opera tickets! That makes sense. You can't afford that kind of extravagance on a general salary. This particular performance is going to be special. That's what Valentine said in his note. Come see me at the Opera House. We'll see a great soprano. And when the final curtain falls, so does the grand piano. Man sure knows how to party. Plan C, hop! He's a very good swimmer. I find his ability middling at that. You really think we'll find Valentine here? This may be his secret lair, his den of evil, his fortress of turpitude! Take a look at this. She looks familiar. You always say that. Listen. <laughs> oh! Oh, Tots! Nine! 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 You must find out who did this to my toots, ya? Yeah? Well, actually... Ya? Yeah? Ya, yeah, ya! Yeah. What can you tell us about the victim, ma'am? His name is Toots McTeague. He plays lead flute in the orchestra. He likes long walks on the beach, expensive hair care products, and me! We are going to be married someday, once he gets over his fear of commitment. Yeah, guys can be funny about that. He's a good man, and a brilliant musician! Really? Seems like he'd be a little... flat. Too soon? Toots McTeague, I'm left fatigued by your incessant meddling. Tit for tat, I'll leave you flat. 
You should have stuck to fiddling. Valentine. He was a flautist, not a fiddler. He didn't deserve this. Why would Valentine attack a flautist? That's what we're going to find out. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. Stand aside. I'll handle this. This one. Uh. Woohoo! Talk to the law, unless I need to. Wow. Ah. Nato. I have some information you might appreciate. Which suspect is the culprit? Woo! Come on! I was born ready. Good day to you. I am not sure I should tell you what I know. Such sweet sorrow. Hello, detective. Got any scoops? Let's try this. This one. Let's try this. Tell you outright. Here's a news flash for your sonny Jim. Who is the guilty party? to some sort of arrangement. Ooh. Mm. Huh? Ah. 
I love my job. Ha <laughs> So long! Be careful out there. Ready to eat. No free lunch here. You'll have to sing for your supper. Blah, blah, blah. Blah! Oh! Blah! Blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, but two! Blah, blah, blah. Blah! Blah! Wow! On oh, two! I know something you don't know yet. I like where this is going. Ha <laughs> ha! Which suspect is the culprit? This is what I trained for. Can I interest you in a lollipop? I really shouldn't say anything unless you give me a good reason. Work too hard. Oh, 
I love my job. Ha <laughs> ha! Ask someone else. Stop. You think I did it? Well, you'd better start serving up some evidence. Your attention, please. How do you know the guilty party isn't him? <gasps> Deduction detective. However, how do you know the guilty party isn't him? Phew! <gasps> 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 Tasty 
deduction detective. However, how do you know the guilty party isn't her? <gasps> Party isn't her. <gasps> oh. You've cooked your own goose this time, my dear. This is your recipe book, is it not? These recipes are terrible! Valentine pudding. Who would eat that? Phoebe. What did you see in our toots? Why did you leave me? I didn't want it to end like this. Toots used to be my main squeeze, but then he found out about my paramania and he dumped me for Griselda. Valentine told me we'd drop the piano on her, and I believed him. Oh, Toots, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Ten points. Danke for bringing Toots Attacker to justice. I have the reward for you. Valentine, I know his true identity. Valentine is really... <gasps> Quick, grab that anchor. Olivia! Grandma! Hugh! You've got to get off this ship. Valentine is still aboard. You're not safe. Valentine's here? Yes. And this whole ship is dangerous. Valentine's got it loaded with some kind of gas. Helium? Hydrogen? Mustard? Man, I could use a bagel dog. No, it's something he concocted himself. He calls it love gas. Inhale too much of it and who knows what you might do. Love gas? Be serious. I am serious. Anyone who breathes it becomes extremely emotional and susceptible to suggestion. Imagine what the Shakespeare of crime could do with that. If he has his way, everyone will fall in love with Mr. Valentine. Especially the Commodore. And if everyone loves Valentine, then no one will be able to stop him. We need to find Valentine before he releases the gas. Mom, can you take Hugh somewhere safe? I think there's a hot air balloon we can use to escape. We'll try to find it. Let's do this! Kid Riddle to the rescue! Bagel Dog, here I come. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see. My turn! My turn! My turn! Come on! Oh, oh no! Over here! Master menu. Are you lost? You will need to... How you say? Convince me? Things you 
should know. Don't make a mess of things. Hey, I think I might have something you need. Careful out there! Rock and roll! Hey, dude! You gotta walk the walk before I talk to talk. What's that behind you? Look at my nose! Now, what, are, what are you doing? Hey, man, what are you looking at? What are you doing? What's that behind you? Nobody touches my nose! Whoa! Oh, man! I got something I gotta speak about. Where'd you go? Done it! Dude! Never fear, Kid Riddle is here. Dig, Daddy O. I got some info that's gonna crack your case wide open. Put it here. Huh? This? Let's get this thing. Kid Riddle strikes again. Got it. Kid Riddle strikes again. Hello? Oh, I could tell you quite a bit if I wanted to. Oh. I will be uh, your assistant in the lab of truths. The 
The Diva Code dictates that you must impress me before I talk.
totally did that. something for me before I tell you anything. something you might find uh, interesting. Check your clues. Which suspect is the culprit? Yeah, baby! Ha <laughs> ha I'll unravel this riddle. Maybe I should write you a prescription for some get lost. You're going to need some impressive evidence to prove this. How do you know the guilty party isn't her? <gasps> Whoa. 
excellent diagnosis, but... How do you know the guilty party isn't him? Guilty party isn't him. your love gas plot, Dr. Harvest. Or should we call you Valentine? Valentine? I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm good, but I'm not that good. I was a young internist when I first met Mr. Valentine. He... well, let's just say he wanted to advance the cause of medical science. Mr. Valentine's donations have advanced the cause of medicine for years. To say nothing of my own career. So, when he told me he needed some experimental gases for a Zeppelin, I didn't ask questions. I just got a bunch from the lab. What kind of doctor are you exactly? I don't believe in labels. That's why I quit med school. Ooh, boy. Mom, what are you doing here? It's not safe. You can say that again. Looks like someone forgot to turn off the gas. Grandma, how did you and Hugh escape? I cut us free... with this. I found it in the hangar. Get us back to Dickens Manor, Hugh. We've got a dinner date with Mr. Valentine. What took you so long? We were unavoidably detained. But you know all about that, don't you? Mr. Valentine! It took us a while to connect the dots. The pudding ingredients, the egg, the vial of vanilla extract, the golden spoon and dish. Don't forget the nautical things, the cruise ship, the manatee hunt, the mermaid opera. Only you would know that sailors used to mistake manatees for mermaids, so you managed to kidnap one of three manatee tenors in the whole world before you lured us to the mermaid opera. Did you think I'd miss that? Kidnapping Hugh the manatee was low, man. Real low. And what about that train engineer and that flautist? Those people have lives and families and crazy Viking women who love them? Yeah! That, that's the only part of this puzzle that Kid Riddle couldn't unravel. Why did you do it, Grandpa? Why would the world's greatest detective become the world's greatest villain? You still don't get it, do you? I'm not Valentine. Our clues say otherwise. Do they? Let's see your clues. None of those clues prove a thing. If you really think you can unmask Mr. Valentine, you'll need to build a full case. And you better do it quickly, because the police are on their way. Who done it? And how? And why? Let's see.
stand aside. I'll handle this. Fancy meeting you here. I may help you if you demonstrate some detective skills first. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what professional detectives call a clue. Don't forget your pudding! Excessively formal greetings to you. You need to make it worth my while. That's amazing. That's very shimmery, that is. <sighs> wow. So glad you're here. Don't forget to sign the guest book. Can I help you? Bonjour, detective. I could tell you something if I knew I could trust you. Detective, where's the fire detective? Ready to eat? If you really want my help, you'll need to earn it. <gasps> All right. I think you'll find this to your liking. on an empty stomach. Drag and roll! Who is the guilty party? Woo! Go Team Dickens! Ready, willing, and able. Hey baby, what's up? First things first, bro. Show me your stuff. Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, dude and or dudette, check this out. See ya at supper. Uh, what? Hi. Impress me, and maybe I'll talk. things on my mind, detective. See you around. Greetings! At ease! Show me what you're made of, and I might talk! Ooh! 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 Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're here. I want to make a statement. Go Team Dickens! <laughs> Who done it? Woo! <laughs> Stand aside. I'll handle this. Which suspect is the culprit? Come on! I was born ready. What seems to be the trouble? Just to let me test your reflexes first. Ah. Ah. This may be of use. Help. Look what I found, darling. Don't do anything foolish. Found it. That's it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Pay attention.
I like where this is going. Ha <laughs> ha! job. Deserve information? Prove it. Show me something. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You might be willing to do me a favor for some info. Oh, it's 
you. Well, I want to tell you things, but I just don't understand my motivation. will help your case. You've almost done it! Who done it? Go Team Dickens! <laughs> Stand aside. I'll handle this. I love my job. <laughs> this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Dun here. Let yep. Dun dun here. This one. Yep. Woohoo! Go team Dickens! Haha! <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> Let's try this. This one. Who 
is the guilty party. He's the culprit. <laughs> I was born ready. I like where this is going. I love my job. <laughs> Who done it? on the straight and narrow. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Oh, you want my assistance. Well, you'll need to earn it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Blah 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 blah. The chip. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. The chip. Ah ha! Feast your eyes on this. When in doubt, read. job.
there. But... How do you know the guilty party isn't him? What? Wasn't her. <gasps> you have a point there, but how do you know it wasn't that woman? <gasps> Preposterous, Rudy. But the clues don't lie, Grandma. <gasps> it's true. Dang. I think I'm going to be sick. Mom, why'd you do it? Because you all ran off and became detectives. Chasing around after your father, grandfather, brother-in-law. It wasn't bad enough losing a husband to his job. I had to lose my whole family. You don't know what it's like to be left alone. You're a team. You've always had each other. So I had to make my own friends, and I gradually realized that I could be a part of your lives in a different way, by creating the crimes you fought, being the yin to your yang, the sour to your sweet. The old yogurt and a sweaty gym sock to our triple cheeseburger bomb diggity deluxe meal? Something like that. But why all this? The manatee, the flautist. Do you know what today is? No, of course you don't. It's February the 14th. Our wedding anniversary. Don't feel too bad. Your father didn't remember either. Now, just a moment. I did not forget anything. Do you have any idea the links I go to for you? Why, if you weren't out trying to be the world's greatest criminal all the time... Nonsense! You were... I had a whole blimp constructed for the occasion. I kidnapped a famous singing manatee. I had oh, bullet train tickets, manatee. opera tickets, cruise tickets. It was going to be the best second honeymoon ever. And do you care? I didn't have to kidnap anybody. I sought out two of them with my detecting skills that have put a roof over your head these last 42 years. 43 years? No, you don't care. All you care about is pudding. Do you know how much we spend on pudding every year? I could build a fleet of zeppelins if I had... Wait a minute. Two manatees? <sighs> yes, yes, two manatees. Pickles and chooch from the three manatee tunnels. I know they're your favorites, so I went out and got them for you. Because I love you. Aww. I don't believe you. Why don't you go out to the gallery and see for yourself? This is completely nuts, right? Which part? All of it, but mostly the whole crime spree to get your attention part. Well, my dear, you can't be married to an insane criminal genius for 42 years 43 and still... years! Without becoming aware of it. Unfortunately, to prove she was Valentine, I had to let her think she was safe. So I could collect the evidence that would put her away for good. That's where you came in. But what about all that stuff you said about none of us being capable? Yes, well, it's what we in the business refer to as a, a lie, my dear. Indeed, I have absolute confidence that any one of you could take over for me when I retire. Not that I plan on ever doing that, of course. <laughs> she looks so happy. It's hard to believe she's a pathological maniac. Trust me, Phoebe dear. 
In this business, the true nutcases are always in lurid costumes. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, get it down! Get it down! Get it down! Oh, oh, oh I'm oh, sure it's yeah. just a phase. Ta-ta! 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 Woman, I love you. Uncle Max, who's going to be our arch nemesis now that we caught Mr. Valentine? Do not care. Hesitate. You know what you must do. You got to find the guilty 